Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to my guide to finding the rare Nuka Coda plans for your T51B Power Armor in Fallout 76. In this video, I will take you through each location step by step with a focus on new players who may not have discovered specific locations and need some visual guidance with walkthroughs. Stay till the end for a bonus tip for finding more exclusive Nuka gear at the end of the video. I hope you enjoy and let's go. Okay, so we start this video by travelling to Vault 76, which you'll see here at the beginning of the video. If you travel here, it costs nothing, so it's a good location. And then you'll see the mark on the screen that I just made. We're going to be travelling to the bunker at Black Mountain Ordnance Works. The reason we're travelling here is because we want to unlock the mission, or at least start the mission. So this is the the first part of the mission. I've tried to speed this up a little bit so hopefully you can still kind of see where I'm going. If not, if you rewind back to where you would have seen the Black Ordinance, uh, Black Mountain Ordinance works, um, you would have seen uh, that I placed a marker and I would advise that you do the same thing. Uh, by doing this you can then obviously look at the marker on your screen and use this as a checkpoint as I've done here which you can see in my little place marker at the bottom of the screen. There are videos on YouTube um, which have got hundreds of thousands of views and are very good videos to watch for the same uh, Nuka Cola plant. Uh, Nuka, I keep calling them Nuka Cola plant plans. Nuka Cola plans. But a lot of them don't show the actual steps that you need to take, as in the steps that I'm taking right now. And for new players, especially, it can sometimes be hard to find where the entrances are to buildings. Um, or even just really finding a location, it can take hours. So this kind of just closes things, makes it a bit shorter, so. Okay. Okay, so we're now approaching the bunker. As you walk in here, you will see a terminal which needs to be hacked. So hack into this terminal. Hopefully you'll be first time lucky like I was. And once you've unlocked it, scroll down to Dome 03 and press X or whatever machine you're using. Open Dome 03. And then you can exit out of this once you've read that. Okay, so we now travel to the Kanua Nuka plant. I never know how to pronounce that. It's straight down the map. If you scroll to the bottom here, you will see it. Travel there. And when you spawn here, just following my footsteps. Um, if you've got a good melee weapon, that would be helpful because there are a lot of Scorched that spawn here. So Unstoppable mo Monster or Deathclaw would be great. This is the entrance, now enter. We then follow these steps up onto the first or second floor. But if you just follow me, I will show you where to go. And we're looking for two notes here. So I'll show you them when we reach them. We also might find things like this, a nice little tape. Good to hang on to because you might need it for a future mission. So here is the Nuka Cola marketing memo. It's important that you read this. Or at least take it. You don't need to read it. The next step is to go into another room which we will shortly be going into. And we're going to be finding a note again. But yeah, have a little search around. You can find recipes, plans, anything spawns. So walk up to this door, and as you walk in here, just follow my footsteps. Sometimes I get a bit lost, but <laughs> anyway. This is a door, unlock this with a pick lock. It's pretty easy to unlock. 
and then when you walk in here you will see we're about to approach a metal container and in this metal container this is this will contain a note called Clara's note to Alexis so that will be unlocked shortly and it's important again that you take that and that's the last step in this mission you can also unlock the safe which as you can see is to the right of that metal box so we're now traveling to the next location which is pylon v13 on the map it's pretty much straight to your right um, i've highlighted it here so you can see it you'll spawn in this direction if you follow my footsteps again you should find it pretty easily now we're looking for a man who's laying on the ground it's a dead body and a green bag when you find this there'll be a toolbox sorry not a toolbox a green bag <laughs> take the toolbox key from the duffel bag and then once you've done that you will see that there's a little note on top of that rock that's called rich taylor's testament read that and then we're ready for the next bit Okay, so we're now traveling to Watoga. Now Watoga is on the map, but for some reason I haven't got a clip of that. But here is where you'll spawn. And these are also the lovely power armor paints that you're going to unlock. And this is what your power armor will look like. And if you've got a jetpack like I do, then they'll look even better. Okay, there are lots of iBots and robots here, so ensure that you've got a good weapon to kill them good troubleshooters pump action shotgun is great for this or a death claw good melee weapon but yeah you can always google or you go on youtube and search for good weapons for killing these as you can see i'm hunting around myself because i was discovering these locations whilst i was doing it but you'll find lots of other little random things so there's lots of tapes I think a lot of this is linked to the fact that it's a mission so you're going to come across some really helpful useful stuff so yeah when we get here we can unlock this red toolbox here is the location we're going to unlock this with the toolbox key which is the here we go unlock with the toolbox key and you'll find the key to Clara's box this is what we need for the next step in the mission Okay, so now we travel to Sutton, a frequent loca location that most people, especially level 1s, will know. So Sutton should be somewhere you can fast travel to. So now that we're heading in the direction of Clara's house, just follow my steps again. You may know this location if you play Nuclear Winter, it's a common place. So we are looking for a yellow crate in the dog kennel and here it is so we unlock this with the key to Clara's box and inside you'll find the new cola locker key you'll also find a plan to the left hand side which is Clara's note to mum so read that okay so now we're going to be returning to the new cola plant so again remember those scorched so follow my footsteps and we're going to be returning to the same location uh, in terms of the floor that we're going to be going to. Um, so once we get in there, we're going to be looking for a beige locker. So, in we go. Don't know why it took so long there. But yeah, once we find that beige locker, we're going to be unlocking this with the new Coca-Cola locker key that we just found in Sutton. Again, you'll see the feral ghouls. You can get some good stuff off some of them. I tried editing this out, but unfortunately it meant I would have made it more confusing for finding the location. So again, you'll notice we're going in the same, we're going to the same place as we were before. 
But this time we travel past the metal box where we found Clara's note and we walk into this room here. In this room here we'll find the beige locker and when we unlock it we are going to find a key. This is the TNT Dome Key 03 and this is the most important key to get it. Okay so now we're going to travel to the Black Mountain Ordnance Works again. So we're going to need to find Dome 03. I've placed a marker on my map to try and locate it because as you can see here the first one I found was Dome Key 7 or Dome 7 which for future reference is actually the dome you need if you want the quantum paints but that's another mission. So yep just keep following where I'm going until you reach Dome 3 and we can unlock the door. So you will see here is the Nuka Cola Cappy Jacket and Jeans, which you should pick up. And to the left of that is where the plans would ordinarily be. So pick those both up and you've finally got your power armor plans. When you've painted them at your power armor station, this is what they'll look like. And yeah, pretty damn cool. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and I really appreciate your time. Thanks again and if you've got any questions or if you want me to look for any more paints or plans or anything, comment below. Thanks.